space. Did you have previous experience in entrepreneurship or starting or running a business? No, <laughs> wow. definitely not. Um, no. So uh, I actually had a conversation about this today with 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 uh, somebody at my yoga class, and and she's uh, she's about twice my age, and she was telling me. Um, you know, wow, you know, you, you opened that when you were so young, that, that must be great to be an entrepreneur. Um, I was like, well, I think I was just really naive. And I was, I was just like, for me, there's no such thing as fear. It's just like, until you get there and then you're like, oh my God, what am I doing? And, and then it, it really hits you. Um, so, you know, as far as, um, sorry, I didn't even, I, what was the question? <laughs> I think you were going down the right track. Like what okay. were the, Challenges. I mean, oh, sound right. like challenges. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I didn't think, you know, I was, I was kind of just like, Oh, you know, this is going to be great. And then it really hit me. Um, and we opened up in dead of winter, which is the worst time I think, um, to open up. Uh, so, well, it was, it was October. So right before winter hit, um, and it was a pretty bad winter for Chicago. So, um, I was not prepared and, um, I guess my, one of my biggest advice is always, you know, make sure you have your finances in place, make sure you have that, that business plan and that those finances in place, because, um, I think I was a little bit too, um, lax on that. And I think, um, that's very important, um, just to, to really have a financial plan for at least the first year and, um, you know, make sure you're hitting your, your targets because, um, <laughs> Uh, if you don't, and you know, there's always something unexpected happening, whether it's winter or, or a pandemic or relocation or, or whatever that is, it, there's always something, you know, that you got to kind of plan for. So having that safety net of money is, is huge. Right on. Yeah. I mean, for sure. Uh, and like, even what you said is a little more prudent than what I've heard from some like past restaurant owners. They're always like three to six months have that planned out or like plan on not making any money for up to uh, that amount of time. So a year, yeah, definitely pretty prudent. Like, so it sounds like you, know, you, you learned that the hard way. How did yeah. you, what did you do to, uh, once you realize like, oh, maybe I'm being a little too lax, what did you do to kind of put you back on, on the right path? Um, well, it was somebody that put me on the right path. <laughs> it wasn't me. Um, I had a friend who kind of just reached out, um, and he was, a uh, you know, a finance kind of advisor and, and he really helped me, um, get my finances in place. Um, he helped me get a grant, um, for my business that really helped me because, um, I did not have the money that I needed. Um, uh, and so that was probably, um, after year one, I, I was, I was so sure once I was hitting that one year mark, I was like, I, I'm not going to make it. I'm, I'm going to have to close after this year. And I kind of accepted it. And then I ended up getting this grant out of nowhere. And it was, you know, mainly due to uh, my friend who helped me financially and, um, and I got the grant. And so then I was like, all right, let's, let's make this happen. So, so yeah, I stuck with it. Yeah. Nice. And how long have you been in business now? Seven years, three months. Nice. Congrats. <laughs> thank thank yeah. you. I mean, it would have been a shame if you, if you went out of business, you know, after year one, Oh I mean, yeah. who knows yeah. what you've been doing for the next six years after that. Uh, so yeah, definitely congrats on that. And, um, in, in those seven years, what has surprised you the most? I mean, obviously, you know, financial planning was one thing, but what are the things that you look back and you're just like, man, how did I never thought that that would happen while, while I was owning my business? Huh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I, I think every year it, you know, is a different year and it's always a surprise. And, and like I said, there's always things you don't plan for, um, good and bad. And, and for me, um, you know, um, just, you know, being able to fulfill our mission the first year, I was like, we're not going to make it. And then we ended up making it. And then, and then, you know, we sustained ourselves after the second year. And I was like, oh God, this is great. I can, I can have a day off, you know? Um, and then I get more staff and, and, 
um, being able to have a full staff with full timers and, and not having to uh, be here 24 um, seven. So I think every year of growth, it really, uh, it, we've just, every year we've continued to grow and um, that's great. And I think that every year it's just something new and um, um, being able to kind of fulfill our mission as a business and also sustain ourselves is just great. It, it's a, it's a nice feeling to be able to do both. So. Very cool. That's awesome.